What's up with the squad? Back with another video. Definitely geek to get in this video. Make sure y'all hit the like with that subscribe button. Definitely appreciate y'all. Much love to y'all. If anybody, if, if y'all caught my live yesterday, definitely an amazing live. Um, we'll be going on live. What's today? Today's Tuesday. We'll be going on live Friday. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Um, it'll most likely be around the same time. So I think it was around like 6 p.m. Um, Eastern time. So it'll be, it'll probably be around that time if everything, you know, goes the way that, you know, it needs to go. Um, but for right now, you know, we got, we got to set it uh, Friday. So hopefully y'all can catch that, um, that live, you know, it was real smooth, you know, talking about different things and it, you know, uh, if it was personal, you know, going on in my life, or if it was something that was going on around the world, uh, or, you know, in the United States, you know, um, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool talking to everybody and I'm um, getting to know everybody. Uh, so make sure y'all definitely catch that live um, Friday. Definitely, uh, like I said, appreciate y'all though um, sharing these videos, liking these videos up. But let's go ahead, jump right into it. It's are as Jessica Tarlov still tries to explain that convince you that Biden is okay and energetic. Democrats are really concerned about this. It, the age issue was not partisan. It was across the board. And it has been the main storyline for the last three to four weeks of coverage. So Jessica is saying that the age issue was a big issue. You're older than you've ever been, and now you're even older. And now, is she saying it's not so big of an issue? Watch this. And we were talking about this earlier in the week that I believe the New Yorker interview was him taking control of the campaign again and saying to his aides that want to keep him hidden away, I can do this. I'm the guy that beat him and I will do it again. But is Biden capable of knowing that he is able to do this? That is when someone is impaired, it's like asking a drunk driver if he can drive himself home. Are you okay? And they're like, yeah. give me the keys. I'm okay. I love you. I always love you, man. And one one thing about it though is like what what people fail to realize, I see it in in my comments sometimes. It really has nothing to do with age in a sense. Um and people will say that all the time, you know, this it's really with age. It's a lot of people that is Biden's age and has, you know, uh more sense than, you know, what he got going on. And that's you know, that that's just what it is. It's just what he is, um, I guess they said he's uh What's the word I'm looking for? I can't even think of a word, but I'm, I'm looking for it because I'm trying to make this as nice as possible. But uh, just simply him uh, diagnosed, you know, what 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 he's diagnosed with, um, what they said it was or what they said a possibility um, it could be. Um, that's just what it is. Um, and it, it, it that's just like saying a person my age, you know, uh, <clears throat> is 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 a certain way and i'm a certain way or you know so I, I really see what they saying you know about you know the age thing but i obviously see that you know uh it's another person his age that 10 times out of 10 don't act the way that he acts and that's just give me them uh, keys it's like you know maybe biden is not the person you ask if he's okay enough to campaign so the age issue is not gone for biden last time i checked you only get older and even now i'm only older now you're even older and now you're even older and now i'm older still and now you're older still see how that works so will every day look like that absolutely not he's gonna have some stumbles he's gonna have but she, that, that's she's a person that's literally sitting there being in denial about it you don't sit there and say like I, I it's people like this that I can't stand. I'm telling you, it's people like this that I can't stand. Stop being so in, in denial about stuff. He he's gonna have some days that he's gonna do this, do it. Like stop doing it. Stop doing it. She's enabling it. Like she think it's okay for this. How do you think it's okay for this, Jessica? I don't I don't see like I I I I want somebody to really get it to her, get in her head that. What you're saying is incorrect. Have some Joe Biden moments. Some Joe Biden moments. Some Joe Biden moments. And you ain't black. Some Joe Biden moments. And you ain't black. And you ain't black. And the next time I see somebody posting something about some some Trump is the R word and this and that, man, get out of here. But you voted, you, 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 you voting for, man, that's crazy to me. 
they must not seen the videos of what Biden has said. That's what that's what gets on my nerves, y'all. It gets on my nerves so bad. So bad. Let somebody talk about any, any, any Democrat, any Democrat. You're going to hear Trump name. You ain't even got to like. Say, say, say that you don't even like Trump. Say that you don't, you, you, that you're not a big fan. Say, I'm going to say that you say that you're not even a big. And I know y'all are. Try it. You know, I got I got a little, uh, 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 you know, but <clears throat> say that, you know, a person just don't really, you know, into Trump like that. They say anything about Biden. They gonna bring Trump up. You never brought Trump up at all. And that's what gets on my nerves. It gets on my nerves. He's gonna stare through the screen and probably fall into a coma, slip and fall off the stage, heaven forbid. Uh, it can go south quick. Then if they ever run out of amphetamines to give to Joe Biden before a speech, then his campaign's going to come up pretty short, pretty quick also. But he needed that, and we needed that. And mm -hmm. I think it is important, putting aside whatever their political preferences might be, and obviously we showed some hosts who are openly partisan in this, but even reporters were leading with this story because it was what was taking over the American psyche, that they were saying we can't have this guy again because of the age issue or the competency issue. That's going to lessen as an issue. No, uh, lessen, I don't think so. People are still going to say, you know, I prefer not to have a guy that's on the borderline of complete incompetence. You ain't black. Jessica Tarloff did say, uh, we needed this. And we needed that. We needed this. We needed to show that he could show up and not just fall into a coma. And we needed that. You know, the bar is set so low on Biden that if he walks across the stage, everyone goes, yay, give him a participation trophy. You did it. And we needed that. You survived walking across the stage, Joe. Well, it's a proof of life speech, right? That's what it was. Is that I'm, I'm alive and I'm able to give a speech that I can read off a teleprompter. Slurring. We have a new nickname for him. It's Slurry Joe. As he slurs his words, so slurry Joe. People ever say, like, 81 yeah. is my target. Like sloppy Joe. I get, I get, I get, I get. For a really great president. But they will say that this <laughs> is a man who easily found his pants this morning. And that's, you know, Greg's point about lowering well, the bar so far. Did she just say that he easily found his pants? This is a man who easily found his pants this morning. That's the new, he's a genius. He's capable of taking on the world, Joe Biden. Can you imagine that being his campaign, uh, like the big movie poster of his life? Joe Biden, he found his pants this morning. Tonight on Where Are My Pants? Where are my pants? Where are my pants? He did talk about January 6th, though. He did, and but there was January 6th, you know. people who stormed the Capitol are different than the average Trump voter. And that's something that Trump voters have been screaming from the rooftops. Uh, that's not entirely true that Biden is making a difference now between the people who stormed the Capitol and what he, he calls mega mega Republicans. You know, it was just a handful of people who stormed the Capitol. And we're unaware of how many of them committed crimes. They know what happened. That's what kills me. They know what happened. It's the end denial. They're Trump not. Denial. So it's less than public. But Biden did not mind, and Hillary also, calling all everyone on the right mega, mega Republicans and deplorables, the kind of people that are divisive and stuff, which is wrong. He means me. He means people like me on what I believe about traditional marriage, on what I believe about the sanctity of human life, on what I believe about closing the border, the Second Amendment, free speech. He means me that I'm dangerous. I know Biden. He means half of America. We were sitting at home on that day, or we were peaceful, and then we went home. We but didn't they, come in. They with feel like eyes. they get all lumped together. Many of them. I know, like, but that's, I'm saying that I happens. think it was an olive branch to not only Nikki Haley's supporters, the independents and the moderates, but the people who really believe in Donald Trump and his policies, but are not storming the Capitol or acting violently. Yeah, the ones who stormed the Capitol are the ones uh, that Rashida Tlaib brought in and she got nothing. She did not get in trouble. My thing is, is this so much, so many videos out and stuff like now and so much information, so much facts of what happened that day that Jessica ought to know what's going on instead of sitting there being in denial and ignorant about the stuff that she's talking about. It'd be, make, it, it be making me mad. I've been trying to work on my cuss and all that y'all, but it's, it's stuff like this and people like this that literally sees what we see but sit there and still in denial about it. Like you didn't see it. 
because you're wrong. It's trouble crazy. the way Trump got nailed for insurrection. The ones that are violent are the ones that are doing smash and grab and rioting, the Palestinians rioting, storming the uh, White House, tearing down the gates, abandoning Washington, D.C., uh, taking over the Brooklyn Bridge. That's your party, not the mega mega Republicans. It was definitely flatter okay. than, or less aggressive than we have seen before. Okay. Well, a lot of people thought last night was aggressive. So does he now agree to do debates? Oh no! Oh no! No no! He's not doing debates. Joe Biden's not doing debates unless they can keep him jacked up with those amphetamines. There's no way, unless he's on speed, is he going to do a debate? And he's not coherent. This is a speech that he read. Okay. He he read a speech five times. And then he goes and he performs it. That's different than thinking live with your mind to an opponent and going back and forth with them. They are not having Joe Biden debate Trump. Uh, we might have to start placing mo money bets on this. What do you guys think? Yes or no in the comments below. Do they let Biden debate? I if they do, they crazy. But I wouldn't be surprised because look what they letting them do now. So, I mean, it's, it's not, you know, it's honestly to me. I can't stand the ignorance. I can't stand the the controlments. I can't I can't stand the the you just got to be in denial about everything. It's it's annoying, y'all. Make sure y'all drop y'all thoughts and comments down below. Definitely appreciate y'all. This video was the top video of the month that literally made me mad. I'm trying to work on my cussing. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Definitely appreciate y'all. Much love to everybody. Catch y'all next one.